Well, they're viewed as everything from scary to evil. And usually in the Bahamas, an encounter with a snake doesn't turn out so well. But in this week's edition of Things You Should Know, Cleopatra Murphy explains that snakes serve a purpose and those in fear should not follow their initial instinct to kill. When caught unaware, an unexpected encounter with a snake can be a scary experience. Gina Bethel can attest after recently coming across not one, but two slithering in her yard. Uh, my mom and I were on the porch one Sunday morning and we were having our tea and we looked to the right. There were a lot of leaves in the yard because of the ganap tree and we didn't notice anything until the snake kind of coiled up a little bit tighter and so we freaked out. <laughs> oh, so I found a cutlass in the house. And I got on the phone and I called my best friends. I said, you guys, there's a snake in the yard. It's under my car. I'm freaking out. And a few minutes after that, I saw a black snake. So it was two snakes in one day. So I completely freaked out. Her natural instinct told her to flee and even kill the reptile. But biologist and education officer at the Bahamas National Trust, Scott Johnson, says this is not the course of action to take. Johnson, who surrounded his own baby by two snakes caught in the wild that had not been trained, says Bahamian snakes are not only not poisonous, but are docile creatures. He insists when you encounter a snake, you should stay calm. Yeah, that can be difficult if you see a six or seven foot animal crawling around in your house. But remaining calm is always the best decision in any type situation because it helps keep your hair clear. Then what you want to do is, if you can, contact um, the Nassau Snake Rescue Team on Facebook. Just let them know, hey, we got a snake in our yard um, or in our house. We would need some, we need some help moving it. Johnson says another option, if you are brave enough, is to move it to another location by lifting the snake by its tail with one hand and using another hand to hold its midsection, then slowly place it on the ground to allow it to crawl away. Gina, for the most part, overcame her fear, getting up close and personal with one of the scaly creatures. Johnson stressed that snakes are the largest native terrestrial predators in the Bahamas, and as such, they help to maintain a healthy ecosystem, and that is not all. Snakes get rid of rodents, and one of the biggest rodents that we have in the Bahamas is the rat, and we have mice as well. These guys spread diseases. When you have the snakes in the area, that tends to make rats a little bit more apprehensive about wanting to stay around because they know that there's a predator nearby. And so these guys have to control rat populations, which means that they have to control disease problems. Okay, so And you don't have to worry about pesticides and that kind of thing. Another benefit of snakes is they are a mass appeal to tourists and can bring hundreds of thousands of dollars into the economy from those who want to observe or interact with them. Should you have an unwanted encounter, Johnson adds. Bahamian boas, Bahamian racers, um, most um, all of our Bahamian snakes, Bahamian snakes, are not dangerous to humans. Now, the Bahamian racer is mildly venomous, which means that it um, has enough venom to kill its prey, which is lizards and frogs. It's not going to pose a threat to you. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.